Hey guys, if you see my previous video which is a compilation of Rhino and SketchUp modeling, this is a SketchUp tutorial video. So let's begin. Uh, unlike Rhino and SketchUp, you will have to create the sphere from scratch. So for that we will create a circle and uh, create a horizontal and vertical circle and And with the help of follow me to and with the help of follow me tool just follow it along the circle and we have a sphere ready uh, or if there's any new plugin uh, or a method of doing creating a sphere please let us know Moving ahead, step two, uh, in Rhino, uh, we have this option, the Boolean difference. Well, in SketchUp, we don't have such command. So for which there is the other command, the alternative command in SketchUp is, in the, <coughs> the alternative command for SketchUp is interact with surface or interact with model. So first, let's create our spheres. Uh, let's create our model. Uh, let's create our structure. And after we have created it, uh, let's explode it such that our surfaces intersect with each other. The sphere that we uh, will copy later on uh, after after extracting the smaller sphere from the bigger sphere, uh, do not delete it. Uh, it will be required in the further step. Uh, now let's just select the entire structure and uh, you can hold down the shift button and unselect the surfaces that you do, do, that you don't require and here and here we have our model base ready and let's just delete the unwanted surfaces heading to step 3 uh, in step 3 we would require an extension that you will need to download if you don't have it already the name of the extension is multiple offsets which helps you to create uh, multiple offsets uh, by just one click now over here the offset is created because in the hidden geometry if you s if you turn on your hidden geometry by going to view you would see the line the sphere that has uh, the lines like long latitude and longitude which are actually hidden that offsets now to have a shell uh, let's just select the entire model and um, press down shift and uh, click on the structure that we do not want to be deleted and and here we have and let's just delete the remaining and here we have our shell ready now uh, step so if you see there are some of the surfaces which if you see haven't been deleted so uh, for that what we'll do is take the off the command offset that is already uh and built in SketchUp. Let's uh just create an offset from the hidden geometry lines that you see and then let's delete the surface. Well now step five moving ahead now to give it a depth. And since this is a sphere, you cannot pull and push unless and until for which you require another extension, which is a uh, pull, pull, push joint, uh, which you'll get it easily. Sorry, which is joint, push, pull, which helps you to uh, push and pull uh, curvy linear s structures. If you had seen, we had deleted the uh, unwanted layers that were created, uh, which weren't getting deleted. Uh, but after giving this command, there are still surfaces created. So for which <coughs> we'll have to do the same uh, step, which is offset it by the offset command that we, the offset tool that we already have in SketchUp, which you'll find it in your toolbar, uh, and with the help of the hidden geometry that you can see in dotted, just offset it and then delete the surfaces that is created, and we 
will have a grid shell ready once our grid shell is ready if you see in SketchUp and you pull or push only the outer surface uh, you have a surface and while in the inner side uh, the surfaces aren't created so for which we'll have to create inner surfaces for which uh, if you guys have any other method of uh, creating surface other than um, the one which we are doing right now is by creating lines uh, please do let us know comment in the comment below okay so while we it will take a hell of time for this which is uh, one another drawback of SketchUp that I feel is creating surfaces uh, but they do have a tool called surface for you but it, this actually won't work in this case because if you try doing it the surfaces are uh, uh, basically the grid not the surface of the inner grid the box grids would be created r rather than the structure uh, wire the wire the structure base that we require which won't be created well in SketchUp uh, unlike Rhino uh, we don't have an option to alter the mesh like we did in uh, our Rhino the Rhino tutorial like I showed you by adjusting the density over here uh, I uh, well if you guys do know any other method of altering or creating a mesh uh, please uh, please comment below Uh, after creating, giving it its depth, uh, we'll have to uh, like my pre uh, as you've seen in my previous video in uh, Rhino, uh, how we have done. Uh, we've used contour to create a uh, horizontal like slab like struct slab like surfaces structures. Uh, over here in R in SketchUp, uh, we have another uh, extension that you would require. Uh, which is um, s slice which is uh, yeah the name of this extension is slice which you'll have to download download it and in this uh, basically we like we had created a sphere before we'll just slice it according if you know the distance well and good you can just mention it in the spacing uh, option that you see when you open the slicer bar uh, just mention the distance that you require and if you haven't well we can just delete the extra layers that are created well this is SketchUp's version uh, please do like, subscribe uh, for more videos. Thanks for watching.